Greetings everyone who is watching. My name is Narith and Nelani Vuma. I stay um yeah. I stay in Tembisa Ivory Park. Um and the major reason that I came for one on one was was really today for me was to, was to uplift my faith and um for the past few months I've felt like um it's like God you're not hearing me uh, and even if you are answering I feel like I'm not hearing anything from you so when I came here I knew that today I would leave with an inspired spirit and just to take on anything that will be coming at me first I it started out back in like late 2019 I got a prophecy regarding a house and I knew very well that I I could barely um, afford it so all this time I've been waiting on God to actually get an approval of a house so um, I knew for some reasons it could be that it hasn't happened because it's not yet time but also I wanted to come here so that I know go, I still stand on what God has promised me so yeah I did have an expectation and it was mainly on really just getting a house because it's a house for everyone at home it's not just for me so that's why it was trying to it was actually starting to weigh me down because I felt like it was taking forever but then at the same time I would look at it through the lenses of what if it's just not yet time but I still um, believe God will still do it for me as he's promised okay also <laughs> and also uh, God has told me about meeting a brother so yeah it actually did happen and this was last year um around january so that was also one of the things that i would ask myself that um do i need to keep waiting longer or i must just forget about anything in terms of a relationship but when i actually met the brother i did um I did feel a sense of relief go actually if it's not everything that God covers but there's certain things that he can actually bring out so that he tries to uplift me as his child as well. Today I got an opportunity to meet with uh, Prophet Andres on a one-on-one -on -one session and he, <clears throat> he still um, told me about the house is still coming and also i'm going to get a better job because i've been praying for a better job and he also still did confirm that i will get married and i would like to thank god for that uh i can confirm that everything that he said it's actually um what i've i've been hoping for because i'm from a family that um, marriage it's actually the hardest things that happen so if uh, then God still believes that in our family we could all still get married even if it was it was to start with me then I I believe it and I confirm that he actually did lay out issues that were in my heart as well and also in terms of the job issue I could confirm because I would go to work and would like faithfully serve my job and I would still feel like God I just feel like I want more and um, when I hear that God still allows me to voice out and he can still respond in that manner it just um, it, it makes me to stand more firm where I am because now I know there's um, surely like the next good thing that's awaiting for me and also in terms of the house issue I'm still looking forward to that and I'm still grateful that God still still wants better for me and for my family well I feel relief um, because <clears throat> the the more um, the more we come to church and we go home and it just it feels like okay 
there's nothing that's happening but it actually is working it's just that there are some days where we just feel like we just want to hear it directly to our ears so i felt so much courage today because when he laid out every issue that was bothering me it felt like god i love you even more and not because of your promises but because you see my heart because at the end of the day it's still on what he sees from within my heart it's only him that can discern my heart so when prophet told me about everything that i actually did been having as an issue or as a as a hindrance i would say in my heart he actually did give me like uh, some sense of relief from that and i'm grateful for that well the only the only uh strongest advice that i'm also still standing on it's just to seek god or rather seek his kingdom and his righteousness and every other thing will be added unto us Tomorrow I want to see the girl. <laughs> the only girl that I want to see on Fortnite. Jesus Christ.